The following program is presented by the Diocese of Venice in Florida. As a Bishop of the Diocese of Venice in Florida, I take this opportunity to cordially invite all to join me on Veterans Day in the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass at 3 p.m. Friday, November 11, in the amphitheater at the Sarasota National Cemetery. Military service personnel, active and retired, are encouraged to wear their uniforms to Mass. Let us honor you. I look forward to seeing you there on Veterans Day. God bless you all. The Diocese of Venice in Florida presents the Mass. This morning, the TV Mass comes to you from St. Francis Cabrini Parish in Parish, Florida. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we gather together this morning, let us recall those times that we have sinned. Let us ask the Lord for his mercy and his forgiveness as we come to celebrate these most sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You were sent to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. The Lord is a God of justice who knows no favorites, though not unduly partial toward the weak, yet he hears the cry of the oppressed. The Lord is not deaf to the wail of the orphan, nor to the widow when she pours out her complaint. The one who serves God willingly is heard. His petition reaches the heavens. The prayer of the lowly pierces the clouds. It does not rest till it reaches its goal nor will it withdraw till the Most High responds. The judges justly and affirms the right, and the Lord will not delay. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. From now on the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. 
At my first defense, no one appeared on my behalf, but everyone deserted me. May it not be held against them. But the Lord stood by me and gave me strength so that through me the proclamation might be completed and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil threat and will bring me safe to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of salvation. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee, the other a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. O oh God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, and I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast and prayed, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, not the former. For whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and to the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. I'd like to welcome everyone who is watching us from at home or wherever you may be that has caused you to watch this on television from the Diocese of Ennis' Station. We just greet you all and welcome you here on this Sunday. In the Old Testament, one of the great laws of God, often the, what was known as called the law of hospitality, was specifically geared toward the sojourner who would be a foreigner or a non-Israelite, the father, fatherless, which were the orphans, and the widow. We know when the law first began, we hear in the book of Exodus, you shall not mistreat any widow or fatherless child. If you do mistreat them and they cry out to me, I will surely hear their cry and my wrath will burn and I will kill you with the sword and your wives shall become widows and your children fatherless. In the book of Deuteronomy, we hear, he executes justice for the fatherless and the widow and loves the foreigner, giving him food and clothing. He sent the prophets after the great Davidic kingdom broke in two to the northern kingdom of Israel and to the southern kingdom of Judah after hearing the cries of the poor, the widow, and the fatherless coming to him. We hear from the prophet Zechariah, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Render true judgment, show kindness and mercy to one another. Do not oppress the widow, the fatherless, the foreigner, or the poor, and let none of you devise evil against another in your heart. We hear from the prophet Jeremiah, for if you truly amend your ways and your deeds, if you truly execute justice with one another, if you do not oppress the sojourner, the fatherless or the widow, or shed innocent blood in this place, and if you do not go after other gods to your own harm, then I will let you dwell in this place, in the land of old that I gave to your fathers. Even David's great-grandmother, Ruth, was a Moabite who married Naomi's son, who was an Israelite. And though she was poor, she went to glean in the fields one day. After under the, under the old law, what the farmers were supposed to do when they had enough of their harvest, as they would leave some of that harvest for the poor to come through their fields and harvest those crops for themselves. 
And lo and behold, when Ruth went to this particular field, it was owned by the name of a man by Boaz. And Boaz and Ruth were married, and soon they would have the father of Jesse. And Jesse, as many of you know, is the father of King David himself. Even in the gospel stories, we hear Jesus walking around to the poor, the widow, and the orphaned, helping those who were most in need. And even throughout the New Testament, we see that the apostles and the early church fathers have always asked for us to bestow uh, those good things upon those who cannot have those things themselves, the poor, the widow, and the orphaned. This Sunday, in a very special way, we call Missionary Sunday. And taking this message to heart, Pope Pius XI in 1926 instituted for the whole church the first Worldwide Mission Sunday. And he had a second collection took up on October of 1927 in that next year. So for those of you who are wondering about second collections, they are quite old themselves. But this Missionary Sunday is celebrated in solidarity with all the local Catholic churches across the world to recognize our common responsibility to those most in need but also to show a spirit of generosity and evangelization. These resources that are collected are used to help build up the church, to support the work of missionary priests, religious sisters and brothers, and lay apostles across the world. These missionaries also provide food, education, and medical care to those most vulnerable communities. Through their work, they reveal the compassionate heart of Christ to all. As the mission director for the Diocese of Venice, and on behalf of the Pontifical Mission Society, I thank you for anything that you might be able to give to help these missionaries throughout our world, to help these brothers and sisters throughout the world in this noble goal of that which Christ has asked us to do, to lend a helping hand to those most in need. I believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. As the church formed by Christ to spread the gospel, we offer prayers for our sisters and brothers throughout the world. For Pope Francis and all bishops, priests, and religious, May they proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ with zealous compassion and without fear in today's world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, may the Lord raise up missionary disciples from our midst who will go and proclaim the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all missionaries, especially those living in difficult situations, May they never lose heart and always be a sign of hope for those they minister. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For an increase in missionary charity, may our spiritual and financial sacrifices be made known to all afflicted by Hurricane Ian. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, especially those martyred for their faith in Jesus, May they enjoy the presence of the risen Christ in the kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of all, we seek your mercy and your love as we pray for the strength to serve your mission each day in prayer and in sacrifice. For we make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
And pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Mark, the patron of our diocese, with Saint Francis Cabrini and Saint Elizabeth Ann Seton, with Saint Francis and Saint Clare, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son 
Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we have the courage and the freedom to pray. Our Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed hallowed be thy thy name. Thy Thy kingdom come, thy thy will be done, done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give Give us this this day our daily bread, and and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive forgive those who trespass trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver deliver us from from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom and power and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her, peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take Amen. away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And what is past our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess some purity of heart. And what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Just a thank you to all those who are here uh, celebrating this Mass with me here on this Mission Sunday. And again, we appreciate uh, any generosity that you might be able to give uh, towards our missionary brothers and sisters who are there throughout the world trying to serve those most in need. 
So on behalf of the Pontifical Mission Society and the Diocese of Venice, we thank you for your generosity and let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go forward, proclaiming the gospel with our lives. Thank you for watching TV Mass. The TV Mass is made possible because of contributions from viewers like you. To make a contribution to TV Mass, please send your check to the Diocese of Venice, care of TV Mass, 1000 Pinebrook Road, Venice, Florida, 34285. And you can view this Mass anytime you like on the Diocese of Venice website. Visit dioceseofvenice.org and click on the Televised Mass button.